I've got a few questions about how to use the node controller and that's actually quite easy so I decided to do this video to help you on how to use the node controller so I don't know why this happens but for some people the node controller will show up in here as an extra icon for some people like me it doesn't show up so and I think that's where comes the confusion because if you can't see how to activate that, then it, it won't, it's not just not going to work. So the way you actually activate that, you press Ctrl plus N and you see this different icon on your mouse cursor. And when you hover on your nodes, you will see uh, that has a yellow selection. So then you click on the nodes you want and you have some options here. For example, no ejection markings. You remove all the markings on the ejection as it advertised. <laughs> if you change the corner smoothness, you can take a look at what happens there. There you go. So you can make it look like basically however you want and they will just follow that. Now, this is not just gonna work because you have a score in here and that will mess things up. So you can make it like a little bit better and they will start respecting that junction. But then figure themselves out here and you see that this is now flowing. That means that they can enter the junction going faster as well, which is also good. So again, you can only do this and you make sure that that looks the way you want. For junctions like this, is about the same thing. You're just making sure that they have like a better angle to get in there and change roads. So they just go faster. And that's one of the ways you actually do it. You can also create pedestrian crossing you can see that my mouse cursor now looks like a pedestrian crossing and if I click on here there you go maybe I don't want traffic lights there and you have the traffic manager options if you want to make that it's standard so as you can see it's um, it's working this um, crossing here and you can do multiple all over the place so it's just a matter of selecting what you want and where you want and you can do that now some buildings don't like that so they will just finish but they will build something else in its place but that's basically how you do your uh, node controller and this just makes things look much nicer especially if you use this in conjunction with the intersection marking tool because I'll just do a couple of lines here so you see what I mean I won't do like anything special or I don't mean to, to make it properly but what happens there is that when you select the node controller and you change the corner smoothness those lines that you use they will follow your chains as well, as you can see. So this is really handy and will save you a lot of time. But that's simply how you use that. If you want to change your um, shortcut to open the node controller, you can go to options. You can find the node controller somewhere in your list and you can change your shortcut in here or take a look at um, what your current shortcut is actually. So that's how you use it. That's pretty simple. That's a very handy tool and it works really nice with the node uh, intersection marking tool, especially for when you have connections like this with Highways, this looks much nicer. And as you can see, the difference between those sides, this one looks like a more, a lot more planned and looks good. 
I think it just looks better. So there you go. This is how you use the node controller in City Skylines. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.